Com. Welcome back to the Freddy Frags channel. Today, I've been tagged on the Scented Memories video. Today, I'm going to give you my, my, I have five. So, I'm going to give you five fragrances that trigger memories. I was tagged by Max Forty, a good friend of mine. His information will be down below. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to him, I'm not sure why not. He has great videos, great content. And he, I was gracious enough to be. He was gracious enough to tag me in this video, in this series. So, here we go. Wait till the end, and I'll tag one or two people. I'm still deciding in my head as I'm shooting this, who and why I will tag them. So, just to start off, these are in no particular order, or maybe they're from latest to new to most recent. But, um, Yope, Yope, or as I used to call it, Jupe was a scent that triggers a lot of memories for me. Um, in particular, I remember when I first purchased this, I was about 14 years old. I was preparing for my cousin's uh, Sweet 15, which is in the Latin culture is uh, Quinceañero or Quinceañera. Uh, and I went shopping for an outfit the same day as the event. And you know, I picked up an outfit. I thought I was fresh to death, but to complete the outfit, I needed a new fragrance, right? So I was 14 years old. Uh, I had just turned 14 and you know, had my own money, went out shopping on my own. I was late to the party, but trust me, it was worth it. At the end of the day, I wound up pulling a girl in that party, so I thought this fragrance was the bomb. Um, you know, a few weeks later, I started my first year of high school and you know, an older girl in the school, actually the fragrance caught her attention and she pulled me over and we started dating for a little while. So. It worked out for me, and it, again, back in the day, it used to be louder, and and for me, it, it just did the job. I, you know, I see a lot of people say that they wore this out to the clubs, but I wasn't at the age of clubbing yet when I started wearing this. Later on, yeah, I did wear it, but at that time, I already had more scents in my collection. At number two, or yeah, the next one will be uh, YSL's Body Kuros talked about this many times in my videos this is the scent that was supposedly discontinued and geared me to find a new scent which led me to fragcom which led us to where we are today uh, this has a lot of memories for me because um, this was uh, actually given to me by a someone I was dating at the time she had went out to over to Paris so before this was even here in the States she came back with a few fragrances for me and this one was the one that stood out to me uh, the other ones I don't even remember what they were and this became my signature scent for years <laughs> coincidentally I met my wife years a few years later and uh, I met her wearing this scent and uh, a few years after that we married and this was my wedding scent um, in between all that, there was a lot, a lot of memories that, you know, if if one scent has the most memories triggered to it, it is Body Kuros by Y. So I guess maybe that's why I hold it into high regards. It's um, it's a musky, benzoin, sweet scent. Uh, I love it, and I, well, I did love it. I still enjoy it, and I still think it is a good scent. It was something that triggered me. It was different from the regular designer fragrances, and I, I didn't know about niche, if, even in the, if they even existed back then, which I guess they did because some of these houses are, you know, hundreds of years old. Uh, the next one will be Versace Man O Fresh. It's a citrus, fruity, a citrus woody fresh clean scent in my opinion it was my first purchase after learning about Fredcom. Um, you know besides my wife's body course but I already owned that this is after all the research all the samples uh, I before I started on my shopping spree or my here's my wish list this one was the one I picked up the first one I bought a full body of a uh, bottle of and it was it was the bomb to this day I, I still wear it uh, when I have a bottle I currently don't but it is a great 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 scent on the designer side as well um, number four would be Andy Towers LDDM Lord Desert de Maracang now this was my first niche purchase uh, I tested a bunch of niche before I purchased any uh, it just happened to be New Year's Eve, I was hanging out at home, uh, hitting up on the phone, talking to some guys from Fratcom, and 
somebody posted it for sale on a good price and I just jumped on it and it was my New Year's purchase to myself that year can't remember it was you know it was years ago um, so I remember that scent it is a great scent it's basically a bold strong spicy rich and regal scent incense if you like that spices it's just it's a very very nice scent if you haven't tried it which I can't imagine you haven't if you are part of Fratcom but for those of you who are not it is very very rich it is um, some people that smell it only get the incense and say it smells like church but I get so much more out of it I get the market I get the spices from like a, a spice market is deep I get the sweetness from like a vanilla or, or tonka bean or something to that effect it is great 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 scent at number five and my final one on this list is Zerzhov's Naxos so prior to Naxos I was a fan while well, everybody was hyping up uh, Derry Mugler's pure malt I, I was actually on the other side I liked pure malt but I was on the other side and I enjoyed pure Havan even more then I became a fan of cigars, you know, throughout the years, and when I heard about Noxos, I had, well, I actually bought all three from that 1861 line when they dropped, and it's just the perfect, perfect tobacco fragrance. It has honey, it has, it's ambery, it's sweet, it has tobacco, it's fresh, it has some citrus in it, it is just a great blend. Um, this the notes alone will make you think that this is a fall winter scent um, but I've actually worn this in the summer and it has I wear it a lot on my birthday I noticed and I have a lot of birthday memories linked to this scent um, I suggest you guys try that one out I'm, I don't have it anymore but I am looking for a bottle and hopefully I can get one before my birthday this year which is only in a couple of weeks and those were five scents that trigger memory for me um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as far as who I'm tagging let's see I want to tag Beauty Meow Christian from Beauty Meow and let's tag Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover till next time peace stay blessed don't forget rate comment and subscribe everybody's notification will be down below hit that notification bell later Thank you.